Tours. We'll do this thing step by step. Friday at 7 o'clock, as you can see, lots of sunshine, clear skies. We've got some cloud cover building in as we move through into Saturday morning. And uh, this model insinuating a lot of uh, cloud cover and then some, flir some uh, drizzle, pardon me, later in the day on uh, Saturday. So it won't be a significant rainfall that we see tomorrow. And then by Saturday evening into the overnight, look at that, we clear out. Sunday will be even nicer than today with warmer temperatures and uh, we'll be into the low teens, so things looking good. Sunrise at 712, the sunset at 728, our low was minus 3, our high was 9 degrees, we almost hit double digits today, very close. Our temperature right now is 9, the barometric pressure is at 102.25, and our winds are out of the west, northwest, pretty light at 10 kilometers per hour. Let's get into your forecast. Peterborough City of Corth Lakes, increasing clouds tonight, a low down to minus 2. Increasing clouds in Northumberland, one on the plus side, zero low. Durham, one on the plus side as well with some increasing clouds overnight. And a clear for the most part tonight, but increasing clouds in Bancroft, Halliburton, and a low down to minus four. For tomorrow, Peterborough City of Corth Lakes, showers beginning in the morning, ending in the afternoon. Seven is your high. Seven the high in Northumberland down at uh, Lake Ontario. Showers beginning in the morning, ending in the afternoon. And much of the same for Durham with showers beginning and ending. And then for Bancroft, Halliburton, a few rain showers beginning late in the morning. You actually have a chance of seeing some wet flurries, but uh, likely the kind of wet flurries that hit the pavement and disappear right away. So good news if you're out traveling tomorrow, too, on the plus side is your high in the north. So as we make our way into tomorrow, again, watch out for a drizzle off and on, just a lot of cloud cover. Look at Sunday. Boy, that looks good. If you've got some outdoor activities planned for this weekend, let's hope they're on Sunday with 12 degrees, the high, lots of sun. Monday, we start with sunshine. Then that system pushes from the west to the east later in the day, Monday into Tuesday. But look at those highs, 12, 14, 16. Enjoy it because it looks like late next week we could be uh, back down into a more seasonable temperatures for this time of year. So the official, first official weekend of spring is looking good. But what are the experts saying for the next three months? I'm pleased to be joined now on the phone by Environment Canada Senior Climatologist David Phillips, who's going to give us a spring outlook. David, first of all, let's talk about this past winter, which has been the warmest ever for the entire planet. Do you think that's a result of global warming or just by chance? Boy, that's a good question. You know, I always am very careful to say, you know, you, you know, one year, one season does not a trend make. Um, and clearly what we're seeing is a profound change to our, uh, uh, to our climate on this planet. I, I think what really surprised me, though, was the, uh, was the fact that um, what we saw in Canada uh, was the second warmest winter on record. Uh, the last 60 years, this was the second warmest. And when you think about last year being the warmest winter, there's that back-to-back -back kind of thing that again says there's something up. And that being something up, it clearly must be that our climate is changing and that human beings are part to play in that. It's probably nature. It's, it's, both, it's, it's all of the above. Okay, David, here in the Kawartha, this winter took forever to get here, but once it did, we sure did feel it. Because of that late start to winter, are we going to see it hang around as we move into spring? Spring always is reluctant to arrive in, in, uh, in Canada. And uh, if you look at the statistics, there's never been an April without some snow in the Peterborough area. Um, I wouldn't put away the snow shovel yet, even though the good news is the next uh, five days uh, look milder than normal. The next 10 days, we're seeing not just like last week where we had a couple of uh, teasers, there looks some consistency, uh, uh, clearly a trend over the next uh, uh, a little while. And all of our models are suggesting that um, looks like April will be warmer than normal. And, um, and even April, May, and early June, we're suggesting that the character, the personality of that period would be milder and, and drier than normal, which would be good news for growers. They get out on their, under their land to, to work it. Of course, Ryan, as you know, it doesn't mean every day is going to be like that. Uh, it's a statistical forecast. It's just suggesting that at the end of that period, when we crunch the numbers, if we were right, then, hey, it will be, in fact, a, a milder than normal spring. Something like last year, which was a milder than normal spring in southern Ontario, we're suggesting that we might see something similar to that this year. The spring is three months long. When you folks in Environment Canada make a spring forecast, 
what types of things do you look at and how do you make a forecast for such a long period of time? Well, Ryan, you make a very good point. We know that, my gosh, the, the Newfoundland line, which applies everywhere in Canada, if you don't like the weather out your front door, look out your back door. And the five-day forecast, as we see it, uh, is, is usually uh, the fifth day is about 65% uh, right. So it's a natural uh, question to ask, well, you know, if that variability exists from day to day, how could you possibly suggest what's going to happen over the next 30 days or, my gosh, even even 90 days? Essentially, the, compu the it's a computer. It's the largest computer in Canada, in Montreal, that forecasts, that produces these forecasts. And what they do is they base it mainly on oceans. As the oceans go, so goes our seasonal weather. We know that the weather can change on a dime, and what's to the west of you tomorrow is probably what you're going to get tomorrow, but not always. But the oceans have memory. They uh, they don't change overnight. Uh, they 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 produce uh, uh, um, pressure patterns or and contribute to pressure patterns that that has some stability or consistency to them. So this is what the models look at. They look at how much warmer or colder the water temperature is, also where the snow and ice boundaries are, and then make some statement as to what the chances are of that uh, of conditions being warmer colder or near normal so again not a bad spring on the way hopefully david uh, thanks so much for taking the time it was a pleasure talking to you oh you're welcome very much enjoy talking with you let's uh, throw it back to the desk